Hello, my name is Sean from Colton RV. I would like to congratulate you on your purchase of your brand new Avenger 27 DBS. I'm gonna be doing your walk around with you today. Uh, so we're gonna start on the outside and work our way around and then work ourselves to the inside. Uh, we're gonna start right here. You have a storage compartment with a latch to hold the door open. Storage does go all the way through. Uh, right now, these are the pieces for your hitching that we have to finish per putting together when we bring the trailer to you. You have a stabilizer jack on each corner in the front and the back. All you're going to do is put the handle on here and crank it down to stabilize it to the ground. Uh, you have your entry door here, which has a lend a hand. All you're going to do is push up and move this over. And then you can take your door and there's a latch right here to latch it open. And then this has the solid step on it. You're just going to release this and bring this down. The feet do adjust depending on the ground. Uh, you have a power awning. The switch is right here inside the door. You're just going to hit extend. And then there is an LED light on the awning which is located right up here. You have a bottle opener right here by the entry door. Um, then you have your hot water tank right here. This is the drain plug for the hot water tank. Right now it is winterized, so there's no water in the system. So whenever you go to dewinterize, you want to flush all the water out of the system, unbypass the hot water tank, and then put the drain plug back in. You are going to light it from the inside. One ten outlet for outside under the awning. This is your exterior part of your furnace. When this is running, it does get extremely hot, so be careful you don't burn yourself if you lean up against it. Here you have your little outside kitchen. You have a little refrigerator. And then this here you're going to unlatch. And this will pull out. And then this hose hooks on the back of the stove here, and it'll go down and hook up right here. There is a little lever on this you have to turn to turn it on. And you also have a faucet and a little sink outside. You have bumper end caps here that'll pop off. You can store your sewer hose inside the bumper. Your power cord is 30 amp service. All you're gonna do is push it to go back in or pull it to go out. City water connection here. All you're gonna do is hook your hose up here and run the hose to the spigot. I do recommend you put a water pressure regulator at the spigot. And then if you have cable hookup or a portable satellite, you can hook it right here. Right here you have an outside shower. And then right down here is your dump, sta your dump station, your sewer connection. All you're going to do is take the cap off, hook up your sewer hose. Now on here, the big valve with the black handle, that's your toilet water. The gray handle here is your sinks and shower. Now right here, you have low point drains for your hot and cold water lines. And then you also have another sewer connection here for your other gray tank. You have two gray tanks. One does your kitchen, one does your bathroom. And then right here is your fresh water drain. All you're going to do is open that up to drain it. Right now it's open. When you go to fill your tank, you're going to want to close it. Uh, you're going to fill your tank right here. All you're going to do is take this out, stick a hose in it, and fill it up. You can watch the gauge inside, or when the water shoots back out, you know your fresh water tank is full. Now you're going to use your fresh water tank while you're dry camping, boondocking, or while you're traveling if you stop somewhere. And then this is the other side of your storage here. Up front here you have a solar ready port, so if you want to get uh, portable solar panels you can hook it up right here. You have a 12 volt battery here, and then you have two 20 pound propane tanks. Now on your regulator there is a supply knob here, if it's this way this tank is running, this way this tank. If it's in the middle it will run off both tanks, I don't recommend it. I do one or the other, so when you run out of propane, you know when you switch to the other tank, you're going to have to take the other tank and get it filled. 
That is pretty much it on the exterior of the trailer. We'll now move to the inside. Now when you come inside, you're gonna to wanna to run your slide out. That switch is gonna be right here. You wanna make sure you have clearance on the outside and nothing is stuck behind the sides of the slide. Then you're just gonna hold the button to run the slide out. Once it's out all the way, you're gonna hear a noise and you'll know it's out. And then you just let go of the switch. So we're gonna work our way to the back of the coach and then we're gonna walk our way forward and show you how everything works. Okay, in the rear of the trailer, you have your bathroom here. Now in your shower, just your hot and cold. Up here, you have a vent with a little switch to turn it on. All your lights in your ceiling have push buttons on them to turn them on and off. Now here, you have your battery, your fresh tank, black, Gray one, gray two. Gray one's your kitchen, gray two is usually the bathroom. And then you have your water pump switch here to turn on your pump to pump water from your fresh tank in throughout your trailer. Right here is your switches to turn on your hot water. The lightning bolt is electric. The flame is propane. Storage under here. And storage up here. They do give you a little bottle of chemicals. GFI outlet located right here. So if you notice you're not getting any 110 power out of your outlets, check this first. Make sure you didn't trip the breaker. Now on your bunk beds here, you have US, two USB charging ports for the top and the bottom bunk. And then here you have your 110 circuit breakers and your 12 volt fuses. You always want to carry some extra ones with you. And then you just have storage here. You have your radio here. And then you have your TV here. Now on your television, every time you go somewhere, you want to auto program the TV. So go into the menu, do auto tuning, auto program the TV, so you can get more channels where you look, wherever you go. You have your air conditioner here. I'll show you up front where to turn it on and off. The nice thing about this, you can open these side vents here and all the AC drops down instead of going through your ceiling. And then there's also, if you take this here, there's filters, you can take those down, clean them, put them back up. Your sofa here has USB charging and there's also a light inside the cup holder. And then to make this into a bed, you're just going to lift up, make it into a bed, put it back, just going to lift up and slide it back. You have, done, you have a shade here, all you're going to do is pull down. You have your residential refrigerator here, your keys, and your owner packet. So this fridge works off 110 volts. You have your microwave here. Your stove top and oven here. The nice thing about this stove top, all you're going to do is turn it to light and spark it to light. Same thing with the oven. The older trailers you used to have to light the pilot by hand. Now you're just going to turn it and spark it to light. Once it lights, set the temperature. The other nice feature is you can turn this switch on and then you have your lights for around your knobs. Now up here you have a range top to where it's got the fan while you're cooking and also a light. You have your farm style sink here. They give you a little bit of a strainer thing here with storage underneath. Now, your hot, right now your hot water tank is bypassed. If you remove this panel right here or this one here, you can get to the valves to unbypass the hot water tank. And all you're going to do is turn them opposite of what we have them right now. Then you just have storage here. These are extra feet for the TV and some extra cables. Up here on the ceiling you have your smoke alarm. And then you have your booth dinette. This does make into a table. All you're going to do is move these out of the way. This is going to come over here and back here. And then you're just going to lift up the table. There's going to be two of these posts. 
you stick this in here and stick the table on top to make your table. Otherwise, for the bed, you just leave this down and put these cushions back. Now you can travel with the table in the up position or the down position, doesn't matter either way. Just some more storage up here. And then your thermostat located right here. This runs your air conditioner and your furnace. To run your AC, you're just gonna turn it to cool, set the temperature. If you just wanna run the fan from the AC to circulate the air, you're just gonna turn it to fan, turn it to high or low. If you wanna run your heat, your furnace, you're just gonna turn it to heat and set your temperature. Down over here in the entryway, you do have your propane leak detector, and then you also have a fire extinguisher, and then up here is where your awning, your slide out switch, your awning lights, and your ceiling light switch is located. You do have a door here that will slide. There's a little latch here to release the door. It'll slide all the way across. Now when you slide it back when you're traveling, this little latch here, you wanna hook right into the hook so the door's not bouncing back and forth while you're traveling. Or into the bedroom, you have storage across the top, little closed closets on both sides of the bed, 110 outlets, and then the USB charging over here. There's storage underneath the bed, little arm to hold, the door, hold this up. Now over here on this wall, there's a TV backer in the wall. So if you wanted to mount a TV here, it's already got support in the wall. You would just hook from here to the TV for your TV antenna. Now this is your TV antenna on your roof. You don't have to crank it up and down. All you're gonna do is spin it to get better reception. That's all you have to do. Fire exit window here. All you're gonna do is release this lever, push the window out, and pop the screen. Otherwise you can leave it like that just for airflow. That is pretty much uh, the show through on the inside and outside of your travel trailer. Uh, again, I'd like to congratulate you on the purchase of your brand new Avenger travel trailer. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at Colton RV at 716-694-0188.